cloud. Okay. All right, guys. Hey, what's up? It's Andy Elliott, guys. Look, I got a little special something. We're here in our conference room today with my team. And by the way, we got Alex with us. Alex works with Lithia Motors. He's out of Montana. Yes, it's freezing cold there. There's snow on the ground. And we don't say it's slow, right? Alex nope. has been crushing it, killing it. He's been doing the training, putting the work in. And guess what? I'm here to tell you a story. Number one, Alex is amazing. He's from England. I'm going to let him tell the story. But he came here. Uh, he was about to go back to England. He was going, uh, I think, London. Long story short, he was a cashier. Guys, the month's got six days left. And he's at freaking $19,000 in commissions. And he's got 20 cars out for the month. He's been doing it for two months. He's been putting in the work, doing the training. He knows the opportunity the automotive business has. And guess what happens? He's attacking and doing the training on a daily business. Everybody, meet Alex. Alex, what's up, brother? Let us know How's what's going? going on. Tell How's us how going, your month's guys? going. And tell us about yourself. Yeah, so I've only been doing it for two months now. Um, I graduated in May, uh, came out of school, was looking for a job. Uh, I went when I go and cashier because that was the only job that I kind of knew at the time because of COVID when it hit. Um, and long story short, when I was working as a cashier, this guy kept on coming into the store. He was wearing a shirt and a tie like this. And I was like, man, this guy, he looks like he makes the money. I was like, what does he do? Is he a lawyer? Is he a doctor? So one day I asked him, I was like, man, like, I need to know, what do you do? I want to be like you. And he was like, I sell cars. I was like, you sell cars? And at the time I, I was like, man, there's no way you can be looking that sharp from selling cars, right? We get this yeah. misconception where we're thinking, man, like you're dirty, you're not smart, you're not looking like this. And long story short, he gave me an interview. I met with the GM at Lithia. Um, he hired me on the day. He gave me a guarantee and I think it was like two and a half thousand guarantee. If I don't, if I don't make that, I get my two and a half grand. Yeah, like your draw. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, like your draw, right? And I remember, yeah. man, I stepped out of there and I was like two and a half grand. Like that was a lot of money at the time for me. I was celebrating. I was like, came back T to my wife. Tell us, uh, tell us about the cashier deal. How much were you making an hour? Uh, I was on 10 bucks an hour at the time. 10 bucks um, an hour, ca cashier. An hour. This guy says, you ain't never sold cars. You played soccer, right? Yeah, I played soccer. Yep. Never sold cars, never done anything like that before. So, yeah. So you play soccer, never sold, never been a salesman. I always say this, Alex. I say salesmen are made, not born. Right. They're right. made. They're made. So you show up, right? Um, and you, you obviously quit this guarantee. You, you, you got this draw, which you know you have to make more than that to get a commission. And uh, right. tell us, tell, tell us, let, let's fast forward from two months. You're, you're doing the training. You're watching to, how to become great. You show up uh -huh. at the lot. How hard do you work? And, uh, you know, what, what, what is it like? What's going on? Talk to us. Yeah, as simple as this. I tell people that I work with, some people that are not selling at the time at the dealership, they're just like down in themselves, no energy. You got to have energy. You have to pick up the phone first. You have to get the up first. You have to, if you get to that person first, you got to be ruthless. And once you're with that person, that's it. It's a deal. It's done. Uh, you're the hardest worker in your store. Yep, you got to be. You got to be first person to every person, answer all the questions, follow up, just just be having energy throughout the day, basically. You take your job very serious, don't you? Yeah, you have to. I mean, if you don't, someone else will. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's, yeah. Boy. You, you got You got to do it. <laughs> That's the lion, man. That's uh -huh. the freaking lion, dude. That's what we're about. You're either a sheep. sheep. They expect what they want in life to right, be right. given to them. Lions yeah. hunt. We hunt all day. The car business is the best damn job in the entire world. How does it feel to be in the business for two months and be the top guy in your store? It's, it's crazy. I don't, it still hasn't sunk in. Like, I can't believe how much I've made already from that many deals. It's just, I don't know. It just starts building your confidence more and more. And I just can't wait to see what I can be in a year's time with your training and your guidance. So. Yeah, and honestly, at the end of the day, you're a great guy, man. I love your accent. Mm -hmm. You're gonna kick ass. You're amazing. <laughs> it, I mean, by the way, you look great. You know, what I mean, you're full of fire. You have a, mm -hmm. a phenomenal uh, attitude. I mean, I, I love it. Everything. Your enthusiasm is great. You know, your 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 just your believability in the person yeah. you are and the person you're becoming, and you're not scared. No, nope. you know I'm saying, that, yeah, like, you can't be scared. I mean, these managers, they they want you to take control of the deal. They need you to be controlling the customer. You know, if you're scared, the customer sniffs that. If they get a sniff, that's it. Your money's gone. 
And I learned that Dude. from day one. I learned that from day one. Whatever you say, the customer mirrors you. So you got to be That's confident. It. Yeah, they want to trust the you. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, you set yeah. the tone. If you're a dead coffin walking around the store, hoping yeah. somebody's going to buy something, you're going right. to get a handful of shit. Yeah, yep. but if you're jacked up, rocking and rolling, like, hey guys, what's up, man? Beautiful family. Oh exactly. my gosh. I'm so glad you guys are here. Wow. I just won the lottery meeting you guys. And they're like, right. oh my God, who's this guy? And you know what I mean? <laughs> we we yep. need to hang out with this guy all day. I like him. You know what I mean? Um, yep. Okay. And, and another deal, you know, you're in it, you're in it for money. You knew that you could make good money. You saw this guy wearing this nice, you know, suit, this tie, you know, right. you envisioned uh, this leveled up version of you, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, man, you know, I could, I, I can do this a at the end of the day. You just want to win. Am I right? Right. Like, yep, you, like, that, like, like the money is just a, a byproduct of success. Yeah. I remember saying, and in my first month, I was selling a lot of new vehicles. And we know when you sell a new one, you, you normally get a flat or something called a mini, which is like 200 bucks. And yeah. my, my managers were like, well, why are you selling these? I'm like, the number on the board is the most important. I want to see my name at the top of the board. I said, whether it be new or used, that will take care of itself. If you keep selling and selling, the money will come. And that's what I care about. I just want to sell as many deals as possible, and then the money will come in time. Alex, I, you're a very smart man. So, very smart. I always right. tell people this. You do the little things right, the right. Big things come. Okay? The 1%. The 1%. <laughs> that's it, man. You're either, you're either a one percenter or you do what the other 99% do which there is going go. around worrying about what everybody else is doing, how much money you're making on each deal, wham, wham, wham. You know the reason why nobody cares about complaining and why, why you shouldn't complain? Because nobody cares. Like, seriously, right. when, if people would just realize that whining and complaining is for the birds, and you hear it all day long, right? But you don't hang mm -hmm. out with people in, like that in your store. You're nope. all alone. You're a loner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I see people stood on the corner. They're all together. And this would be my advice to people getting into this business as well. If you stand with a group of five people, what's your chances of getting the next customer? It's a one in five chance. If I go away from that crowd and I'm by myself, they're all mine. So I love don't, don't hang around with the crowd. Go get the person, do the up, do what you need to do and just work on yourself. Don't worry about yeah. anyone else. Just work on yourself. Guys, listen, he is a very smart guy. And I'm going to tell you this, Alex. As I sit down here, you see all these books? There's all these yep. books down here we've read. And I'm here in my conference room, and I was reading an old book on Zig Ziglar. And it's, and it's, it's I believe it's Zig Ziglar, but it's, uh, it's selling above the, cr the crowd. And it always talks about, you got to stay away from what everyone else is doing, mm -hmm. okay? Because if you don't, you're going to get what everybody else is getting, right? It's true. Which is nothing but pure average, right? It's just pure average, and the goal is, is that you're uncommon. You really are. And you're not competing with the average. You're competing with the uncommon amongst uncommon people. You know, you've been doing it for two months. You've been training hard. You've gotten right. massive success, which we tell you that you can get in this business. Time and experience doesn't equal the top salesman in the dealership anymore. No, nope. doesn't equal the most money made. You've proved it. We prove it every day. Mm -hmm. And... I'm going to see you in Scottsdale, Arizona. March yeah, 14th. I can't wait. I can't wait. Guys, I got booked up yesterday. I'm excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> guys, listen. He's coming. Guys, listen. He's been in the business two months. He books a spot, Scottsdale, Arizona at the Master Closer Seminar. Guys, me and all my coaches here, right? And I'm sure this. You met everybody here. You got Sean Pollard, yeah, which I, go. I'm, I don't know if you have seen him or haven't seen him yet. And then we got our man right here. We got, yeah, the number one twin. You guys know what's up, man? We got, this is the number one twin right here. Yeah, look, look, we got, we got Mr. G right here. What's up, bro? How we you doing? G. Yeah, oh, wait, and then, and then we got my man Ryan Run right here. What's up, bro? You might have seen him in some of the videos. Um, but we got our whole crew here, man. All of us are relocating to, to Arizona, dude. And when you're, you're with us, it's going to be a launch date like never before. I can't wait. We're, I can't wait. Right? We were counting the numbers last night, and we're already at 316 people. We're going to have 450 Man. people at this Master Closer Seminar. It's going to be insane. That's so, what's up. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, when you go home, dude, they're gonna, you're, you're going to shut the damn dealership down. They're going to have to hire you an assistant. Okay. Hey, I can't so, wait. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm really proud of you. Finish strong. You got lots mm -hmm. of time left. I just wanted everybody to meet you. There's a lot of guys that are just getting in the business, whether they're 50 years old or they're 18. It doesn't yep. matter. It doesn't. You know, it doesn't matter. You, 
you said something. You said, just get in there, train hard, stay away from everybody, have a great attitude. You said, believe in yourself. Yeah. And, you know, at the end of the day, man, the car business is the best opportunity in the world. I mean, you know, here you are playing soccer, crushing it, killing mm -hmm. it, you know, and, and who the whole time, were you ever thinking that I could get into the car game and make $250,000 a year, make a quarter of a million my first year? I didn't know it was possible. I didn't even know that was out there until I got into it, you know? Um, so it's I'm really a, grateful. It, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the secret hidden place. It really it is. It really is. Yes. And yeah. so many people don't know about it, but anyways, mm -hmm. we interview guys all the time. You know, we have thousands of testimonies that come in. Um, mm -hmm. I told him yesterday, we were booking a spot for the seminar and I loved his accent. He's from yeah. England. Is your, is your family from London? Is that where they're from? Yeah, I'm from London, a um, place called Barnet, um, North London originally. So I've been out here for four years now because I just went to school. I'm just graduated. So, yeah, it's a long yeah, way hey. from home, but it's worth it. You know, four years ago, I couldn't imagine being sat here making nearly 20 grand in three weeks. It's crazy. It's crazy. Hey, and, and let, let me ask you one question. So I love college. I don't think there's anything. I love college. OK, so I'll never mm -hmm. tell somebody don't go to college. You don't have to go to college. I didn't go to college, but I, I love college. I think college is great. But you yeah. know, I interviewed a guy yesterday um, that has his name is Tim Denton, and I don't know if you saw his interview, but he, he made four he made four hundred thousand dollars this year, and he has a ninth grade education and dropped out of school. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so when you were in college, did you ever think about becoming a, a car salesman? Ever? I mean, did you think about no. using your degree to make you money? I wanted to be a personal trainer. Uh, and then I quickly realized that there's no money in there. That's not what I want to do. Um, and it's about discipline. You don't need college. You don't need the education. You don't need any of that. You just need to be yourself. You need to be willing to learn. And you just need to have the discipline to wake up every day, have the energy and fight and get what's That's yours. You know? Take what's yours. That's it. That's it. Yeah, so, go get everything they said you couldn't have and just attack. Yep. Play offense yep. 360. Yeah, 365. Hey, listen, man, you're amazing. I can't wait to meet you mm -hmm. in person. We're going to crush it and kill it together. Dude, keep it up, man. Dominate, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Don't stop, okay? And I'm glad that you reached out to everybody. Thank you for, for sharing your time. I feel like that yep. this is really going to help a lot of people. So thank mm -hmm. you, thank you, thank you. And um, I'll talk to you soon, okay, brother? I appreciate it. I'll see you later. You have a good one. All right, brother. Thank you, man.